everybody, welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela. I am a fitness professional and a curl enthusiast. And I spend my time on this channel talking all the ways to keep your curls in shape. I'm about to hop in the shower to take care of this mess. And today, it's first impressions time. I am going to be giving you my first impressions of the Lust Brands 3-Step Curly Hair System. Ah! I am so excited. A huge thank you to Lust for gifting me these products. And without further ado, let's do this. Welcome to my shower, folks. We're going to get started with the Lust Sulfate Free Shampoo. Okay. Just gonna give this a quick emulsify and then apply it to my scalp. So right off the bat, I noticed that this product, as many sulfate-free shampoos do, does not really lather a whole lot. And um, I don't know, I guess I'm used to more lathering shampoos, so it took me a second to get used to. So I did end up adding a bit more shampoo and I also added more water to my hair. Lust has stated that their products are all pretty concentrated and definitely activated by water. And once I did add both water and product to my hair, I felt more of that lather sensation along my scalp and saw more evidence of that. Now, I wanted to make sure I really, really massage deep in my scalp, so I took my Babyliss Pro Scalp Massager that I always use with my shampoos to really just kind of break up any buildup that I had on my scalp. And um, while I missed the suds, it did feel pretty good. And as a bonus, the product smells quite pleasant. Uh, it's a very light scent, but it is really clean and almost a little bit floral without being cloying. So now it was time to rinse the product out of my hair. You can see that it's running down from my scalp as I continue to massage it down through my ends where most of my product buildup winds up being located. And uh, my scalp and hair both felt pretty clean. So moving on to the conditioner. I can go pretty heavy handed with conditioner, so I tried to start with a relatively generous amount and right off the bat I noticed it giving my hair some really nice slip. I'm not typically able to just finger detangle my ends especially, so you can see the texture there. God, I'm so sorry for that fallout, that was gross. Um, but I actually was able to relatively well finger detangle all the way through my hair, which for a silicone free conditioner is um, kind of rare. You don't often get really tremendously good slip with a silicone free conditioner. That's why silicones get put into conditioners in the first place. So I just decided to stick it under a processing shower cap and leave it in for three to five minutes as per the directions. After that, the directions do specify to add more water and to detangle with a wide toothed comb. I don't have one of those, I use my Tangle Teaser instead. So in the spirit of adding plenty of water, I decided to, as you guys saw, wet the Tangle Teaser and continue to distribute the product all the way through my hair. That sensation of slip really carries when you add water to your hair at the end of that little processing period. And I wanted to make sure that the conditioner got as distributed all the way through my lengths as possible, giving myself a really good detangle. Overall, it felt pretty good. All I had to do was rinse. Post shower, I left my hair absolutely dripping and soaking wet for the three in one styler. This was the product I was by far most intrigued to try. So the instructions say to section your hair and apply the product because it's activated by water to soaking wet hair. So even though my hair was dripping down my neck, I applied even more before adding any product to it whatsoever. I was also, as previously mentioned, warned that these products were incredibly concentrated. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough water in my hair that I didn't feel like I needed to apply a ton of product to it. For the entire bottom section, I started with once I actually got it out, you can tell this was the first time I used the bottle. I started with just two pumps. Really emulsified, you can see how it's coating my hands there. And then raked and smoothed the product into my hair. Because this was my first time using this styler, I wanted to follow the directions on the bottle to the letter. So that's exactly what I did. I raked it through and then using the praying hands technique, I gave it a smooth and did the same thing on the other side before ever doing any scrunching. 
There's sound reasoning behind these instructions as well. The first two techniques that you saw me use there, raking and then praying hands, are used to distribute products through the hair, where scrunching is less about distributing and more about enhancing and forming the curl pattern. So after I did some scrunching, as always, I have some kind of wonky curls and problematic pieces, and I decided to finger coil just to kind of fix those up a little bit, give myself the best chance of getting some really nice curls and spirals forming in my hair. The product did have really good slip, and just like the rest of the products in the line, has that kind of light, clean scent to it that's not bothersome at all. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I'd say the less products are probably really safe for you. There's nothing that could remotely cause a headache in there. So that's the bottom section done. Now I'm just going to repeat that process all the way through my hair. Every single time I went in with a new section, I wanted to make sure that that hair was still as soaking wet as possible for even distribution of the product. And because like the bottle said, it's activated by water. I don't normally these days wet style my hair. I don't like that sensation of water dripping down my neck, but the directions are the directions. I wanted to give this product a fair shot. And since it's so concentrated wet styling, not just because it was the instructions on the bottle, but with a concentrated product, and fine hair, you wanna make sure it's kinda of diluted down and really distributed as evenly as possible. The product goes in really easy. It's actually quite intuitive to use. And just to make sure everything was really adequately coated, I actually placed some of the product in my hands at the end, sprayed it down with water from my bottle, and then just coated and scrunched it in a little bit more, as you can see me doing here. What I could tell was that there were some really nice curls forming without me having to put tons of effort into applying this product. Just a few last scrunches and finger coils to make sure that the curls are as happy as possible, including that one wonky piece right near my face. And uh, then it's time to micro plop. I had tons of moisture in there from wet styling. You can see just from having that towel around my shoulders how wet it already was. But even just the simple act of micro plopping was pulling more of the water out and really enhancing the curl pattern. Then it was just time to diffuse. See you in a bit. Um, guys, <laughs> I'm 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 shook. <laughs> I am I am shook. This is quite literally the simplest routine that I have done in almost a year of wearing my hair naturally curly. The simplest. And these might be my best results. Full disclosure, I did feel like I used a little bit less product with the three in one that I should have. So I did actually go in with a little bit of the product. I wet my hands with my spray bottle and I kind of smastered and individually finger coiled some of the pieces to really get the definition and honestly moisture that I felt like my hair was missing. But aside from that, my hair is so soft. There was definitely, and, and is on certain pieces still, a little bit of a cast around it, but it's a soft cast. It's, it's a touchable cast rather than, and, and a little bit flexible, rather than being something that's like crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. <laughs> That being said, I am going to be very interested to see how this holds up. It is, in fact, summer and humidity can be a serious issue in making your curls just kind of go <laughs> Regardless of whether or not this product as a one and done holds up over several days, which is something that I'm very interested in seeing, I have a feeling that this is going to become a really, really regular part of my hairstyling routine. I will be checking in with you guys throughout the week as always with one of my first impression videos so that you guys can see how this actually holds up as a one and done product. So far, I'm very impressed and I will check in with y'all a little bit later. You know those old drug awareness commercials? Uh, well, this is my day two hair. This is my day two hair without any protein. I double checked the ingredients of all of the less products this morning and realized that Shampoo, conditioner, 
and the 3-in-1 Styler are all completely protein free. So if you're protein sensitive, that is a fantastic option of a line for you. Unfortunately for me, I have quite high porosity hair and it needs protein, it needs that structure. So normally by day two, I have a little bit of frizz but I still have a lot of form. And today, I just, my hair still feels really soft. But the curls dropped. My style is more elongated than it was yesterday. And I have quite a bit of frizz, especially in areas that you can see the curl is just not there anymore. It's all about balance, balancing protein versus moisture. Now, if you guys have more questions about that, drop a comment below. Let me know if you want to see a video about balancing protein and moisture. That being said, I don't want to have to wash my hair again. I actually really liked the results from the Lust 3-in-1 Styler, but I can tell that I need both a little bit more hold and I definitely need some protein. So I'm going to do a refresh with a little bit of a gel that I know has a great protein content and uh, I'm going to check back in later and see if we can salvage this. Ha, huh, just kidding. Let's fast forward a couple of days. So that refresh attempt was a gigantic failure. <laughs> and my hair was starting to feel really dry and straw-like. A big part of that was there was very little protein to actually help seal my cuticle, seal those little pores that tend to let moisture leach out. And also the fact that I didn't seal the 3-in-1 styler in. Because there's glycerin in that 3-in-1 styler, in humid weather, glycerin can kind of draw too much of a humidity in from the air, which winds up swelling the cuticle and causing, again, that moisture to leach out. So that's the theories. I wanted to give the 3-in-1 styler a really fair shake and see how it holds up as part of a multi-step curl styling routine, AKA Mains by Mel's prep style finish method, which is my preferred method of styling because that stuff works. I prepped my hair with Together Beauty's Whatever Wherever. You can get this at Sephora. It is a spray leave-in conditioner that has hydrolyzed quinoa and hydrolyzed baobab proteins in it, but it's also very moisturizing. I followed it up with the three-in-one styler the exact same way that I used it last time, i.e. by following the instructions on the bottle because they're there for a reason. I did a full plop on my hair today. Then after I took my hair down out of the plop, I finished up with a little bit of the Camille Rose Curl Maker, just kind of gently glazed and scrunched all over for that extra hold that I told you guys that I needed from the styler. And um, wouldn't you know it, we've got shine, we've got bounce, We've got structure, and I can already tell that this style is going to hold up for days and days and days. The whole Lust line, honestly, is absolutely brilliant, particularly if you're looking for something that is very strictly Curly Girl Method approved. The Sulfate Free Shampoo actually does a remarkable job cleansing despite the lack of lather. The Silicone Free Conditioner has a remarkable amount of slip to it, especially considering that it is, in fact, silicone free. The 3-in-1 Curly Styler, which is the one that I tried, Guys, this is a really phenomenal curl enhancer. I just noticed gaps in what my hair needed versus what the Lust Styler provided. Overall, the Lust three-step curly system is a really great product line. I highly recommend it to anyone who is a strict CGM follower or anybody who is looking just for an easy moisture balancing kind of routine for their hair. For me, I'm gonna need to alternate those shampoos and conditioners with protein containing products and I definitely need to use the styler with some other stylers. It doesn't work as an all-in-one for my hair despite how much I loved the day one results when I used it just all by itself. 
So that is it for today's video. What did you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have ever used the last three-step system and your personal feelings about it, how it worked for your hair. Let me know again if you guys want to see that video all about the finer points of balancing protein and moisture, what ingredients to look for, and how to know what your hair really needs. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, give this a thumbs up. It really does help the video and the channel more than I can possibly say. We are inching closer by the day as the time that I'm filming to 800 subscribers. The goal I'd really like to cross off is getting to that thousand subscriber mark. That would be huge for the channel. So if you know anybody who would be interested in the content of this video, anybody who's been interested in hearing more about these products, please share this video with them. Thank you guys again so much for watching The Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye.